There's just a month until Victoria becomes the first state in Australia to legalise voluntary assisted death. It's been in the works for five years and will provide relief to hundreds of terminally ill patients and their loved ones. Her mother's final moments will be something Jane Morris never forgets. She died from terminal sedation where someone's rendered unconscious and you then slowly watch them dehydrate and starve to death. Elizabeth lost her fight with motor neuron disease three years ago. Her daughter Jane says at the time, voluntary assisted dying was just not an option. What scarred us for life was the way she died. In just a few weeks, terminally ill Victorians will legally have a choice on how their life ends. But to meet the state's criteria for voluntary assisted death, a patient needs to be assessed by two medical practitioners, expected to die within a year, have an incurable disease and have a medical condition that causes suffering that cannot be relieved. The law comes into effect on June 19th and is expected to help hundreds of Victorians. But with 68 safeguards in place, it is also being criticised as one of the strictest schemes of its kind anywhere in the world. This was quite landmark legislation and we knew that we had to be very careful. But for advocates like Jane, it's peace of mind for those who are suffering the most. Not only has there been so much suffering for these patients, it's the families as well. Georgia Commons-Soli, 7 News.